Committee reports, budget and finance, and Gerard and Bob. A motion to accept, accept subject to audit the consolidated expenditure report for the month of April 2010, totaling 113,798.21. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do you um, have any comments regarding the quarterly budget report? You're staring at each other here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we circulated the, um, the uh, fund balances at the end of 2009. Um, so how we ended the year um, with all the details and then we circulated the um, the first quarter um, expenses and 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 income um, for you to take a look at um, a couple comments on uh, on these before I, I, you know Bob has some additional comments and then we can open up to any questions people have but uh, I mean I Overall, when you look at the uh, the 2009, uh, the way we landed the year, I think we uh, we did pretty well against what we said we were going to do. So our budget, our actual numbers met pretty closely to the to the budgeted numbers. Um, you know, there were certain um, certain areas that were um, a little bit more than we anticipated. Um, certainly, snow removal at the end of the year caught us uh, with a, with a bigger bill than we had anticipated. Um, some additional dollars for uh, the uh, the streets and, and line uh, the crosswalk uh, design that we did last year, and uh, and I think some other um, you know, the Frost Lane project. Well, I think we knew was going to be a little bit more than what we oh, anticipated. Jefferson Street. At Jefferson Street. Um, but overall, I think we we delivered the budget that we said we would. Um, <clears throat> And uh, some comments on the first quarter of, of this year. Um, the, you, you may notice that the, uh, the income part of our uh, general fund is, is, is less than we uh, would have anticipated at this time of the year. But uh, some of the, the, the tax uh, funds were, uh, uh, were just coming in now. So if you look at uh, Pat gave us some some numbers today that the numbers that came in in, in April and May um, So we started getting our tax receipts in and uh, and so that looks good um, Also, we uh, we did have some snow this winter and uh, That was probably the biggest exception to uh, what we had planned so um, And then just sort of a general commentary both uh, mostly for 2009. I mean, I, I think it's obvious when you look at it and we have said this consistently that uh, um, especially when you look at our general fund, um, our um, revenues um, did not meet uh, our expenses, and, and our expenses were greater than our revenues, and that is true for 2010 as well. Um, clearly, it's not a sustainable situation. I said that at the beginning of the year, and I think we, uh, as we do this budget this year, will have to be looking not only for 2000 and, and 11 budget but beyond and do some long-term planning and I know we have um, potential additional sources of, res of of income coming in when we develop the stock work works project and things like that but um, you know there, there is um, that trend that has been ongoing over the past few years that we have to a one-way shape or form address so. Bob anything else or yeah, I guess to give, give a specific a specific number on uh, real estate tax revenue uh, since the 31st of, uh, of March uh, for the month of April and the month, months of April, April and May, we've received $229,800.67, which kind of puts us pretty much on track for where we should be uh, on a revenue basis. And I guess the only other thing is the... Uh, Grants fund uh, balance of six thousand dollars. That'll be probably down to zero because we'll be spending. We'll spend all the money for old school. And then we've got the third, new money coming in for Gerard for the thirty thousand dollar grant that you're going to be working on, which hasn't come in yet. Uh, other than that, the, the biggest issue this year has been the snowfall, and we owe that to Mother Nature. So. 
Any questions? Any questions from the audience regarding the quarterly budget report? Uh, Mike, do you have anything additional on streets, lights, and properties? Uh, just uh, one item very briefly. Uh, as council and the public will remember, uh, Linton Park was uh, going to have electrical service extended into it. That has been accomplished as of today uh, to the shed, the box, the electrical box in place. The safety lights are up, and uh, we're anticipating the uh, activation of the safety lights for nighttime uh, at the end of this week. So what I'll call the, the physical elements of, um, of it are in place now. And as I say, by the end of the week, we should be able to have lights at night. And uh, we'll be on a timer. One of the issues is who's going to be responsible for the timer. I thought I might talk to uh, Parks and Rec about that and see if we have some volunteers who would uh, be willing to rotate uh, that responsibility. But by the end of the week, we should have that uh, lit up at night. Okay. Thank you. Um, Traffic Committee, Gerard. So um, we have a, uh, a resolution tonight, and uh, to, uh, the Traffic Committee is working on a, another pedestrian safety week. We had one in uh, the fall, around October time frame, near Halloween. And um, the Traffic Committee, along with Newtown Township, the Joint Traffic Committee, is working on a, uh, a spring version of that uh, pedestrian safety week. And really, it's, it's to raise awareness of, of pedestrian safety and bicycle safety and our crosswalks. Um, and actually, I go back to the, the presentation that the Traffic Committee made actually last March in 2009. And um, one, of the, one of the items that, that the Traffic Committee requested at that time was to establish a, a state safe street day and campaign. And I think this is more of a safe streets week. Um, and, and as part of a, a larger campaign. Um, the Traffic Committee has um, indicated, and they came to our work session last week, that, um, that they're working on a program, and the timing of this program really ties into um, several things happening, which is sort of the end of the school year um, and uh, the, uh, the walking tour that happens in the borough. Um, and, and so there's some teachable moments to have, uh, to have further education. And I know there's some discussion about um, having, um, I believe, an officer go to the, uh, new t the um, school, good no school um, field day. Which, so the timing of this, um, of this week is, is picked um, purposefully. So I do have this resolution. I don't, I sent it to Marcia and, and Julia did, uh, did that get circulated, or do you want me to read it? Would you read it? Sure. And it's essentially the same resolution we passed in, in the fall. So, um, so uh, this is a resolution of the borough of Newtown, County of Bucks, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, designating the week of May 28th to June 6, 2010, as Newtown Pedestrian Safety Week. Whereas Newtown Borough and Newtown Township have form formed a joint, uh, joint Newtown Traffic Committee, uh, with the goal to improve pedestrian safety, and whereas the committee has outlined a program to educate both drivers and the public on pedestrian safety, especially the meaning of pedestrian crossing signs, through the assistance of law enforcement officials, and whereas Newtown Borough Council has determined that improving pedestrian safety will ultimately lead to safer streets that will benefit both residents and visitors of Newtown Borough. Now, therefore, be it, resolved the week of May 28th, 2010 to June 6, 2010, is declared and recognized as Newtown Pedestrian Safety Week. Further resolved, the Newtown Borough Police Department and Committee will collaborate on a program designed as a combination of education and enforcement with the goal of raising awareness for both drivers and pedestrians for safety at crosswalks <coughs> with signed sentinels during the week, uh, during the Newtown Pedestrian Safety Week. Is there a second? Second. second. Oh. It's <laughs> dueling seconds here. <laughs> okay. It's been uh, moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Jen, did I capture the details correctly? Okay. Okay. If not, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carries.